Hello, this is uh, Fred at uh, Brayside Allotments. Just sort of come down and it's a bit cool today, but uh, should be all right. I'm about to put in my onions, Japanese onions. So I'm just going to show you them, see what you think. Now, these are the Japanese onions. Now, a lot of people just shove them in the ground and damage the roots. Now, that, and so that holds it back about another two weeks. So what I tend to do is use a dibber, which is a lot more better. And it doesn't damage. I've got my straight lining. So all I'm going to do, I shouldn't work on soil, but I'm just going to show you. I can smooth it afterwards. I'm just going to put a line there, a dib there, every six inches. Now, I'm, oh God, I'm just guessing this. So that's about right. I've got a hundred to bloody do, but I shan't be showing you all hundred, obviously. And that's not six inches. That's six inches. I should have brought a bloody measure, but I didn't. Anyway. So print dibbers in. I'm just going to show you how to do these. That's what I tend to do, and uh, a lot of people don't. They just shove them straight in the ground and then damage the roots. So, let's see how it goes. There we go. Oh, damaged me neat the other day, so can't do much, but pointy end up. Just stick it in. Just show a bit above. That's all you've got to do. But the trouble is the birds get these. So what you've got to do is just net it afterwards. And that's what I shall be doing. So don't damage the roots. That's the main thing. Now these like a bit of cold. They like to germinate in a bit of cold weather. So that's good. So that should be okay. I'm not going to show you doing all hundreds. It'll be here all day. I'm just going to show you. Actually, what I do is do them about... Oof, what? A rake length. A hole length, I should say. Just so you can get a hole in between them. That should be about right. Let's hope the birds don't get them. I mean, I could bury them, but... You're supposed to just, just have it showing, really. That's what you're supposed to do. So, that's one row done. I'm just going to show you the row and then obviously I'll carry on later and finish rest off. But I just wanted to show you this. See, a lot of people think you can't plant in winter and you can. So that's one row done. So yeah, that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all this bed with all these. That should take me an hour. So, but uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you that. But whatever you do, don't push them in with you. If you push them in, you damage the root. It knocks it back about two weeks, then you got to start all over again. You little, get a little white spot on the root where it's damaged. So try not to shove them in and just do it, use a dibber if you can. Instead, it stops them getting damaged. Okay, that's Fred Wellyman. If you've got any uh, questions, please don't hesitate to uh, send one in. And if you like what you see, press the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Bye now.